All right, I'm Brian Watkins, and this is Pivot Table A2, uh, the tutorial asking you to um, create a report using pivot tables that indicates total sales of each product in each category. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to add essentially um, an additional field of data to the report that was done in A1. So product sales data is our database. We start there. We insert on the insert uh, ribbon pivot table. We've selected the data. I've, I've gone through the uh, create screen. Everything's okay. Drops us on sheet six. And we're trying to figure out total sales of each product in each category. Category, product, sales. And that's the report. It was that easy. We clicked on category, product, and sales in that order and the computer figured out that what we were trying to get was this report. Now, that doesn't mean that bad things don't happen. It's easy, but it's, it's uh, problem number one that's going to happen to you at some point working with pivot tables is that you're going to either have something reversed, which if I click on category and drag it down, it now reverses it. I, it's a complete mess. Or maybe your values got into columns something went wrong. Unclick, take a deep breath, start over, category, product, sales. That's the report. The other thing that can go wrong is if somehow you are manipulating the cursor and you click outside the table. Clicking outside the table removes the edit screen for, for the field settings. You can no longer see them. You can't change this table and if you're in the middle of putting one together that can be frustrating. Click inside the table it shows up again everything's fine. So you do not turn in a table with unformatted numbers you can see here that there's inconsistent decimal places and there's no thousand separator so we're gonna click on sum of sales and oh, again you don't see it I want you to see it so we will move this down and click on it. There you see value field settings. You click on value field settings, the box comes up and that's where number format hides in the lower left of the value field settings box. Click on number format. We want a number format. We want two decimal places. We want a thousand separator. We hit OK. Click out. And now our numbers are done. Everything looks good. Let's uh, polish our work. Insert, well, let's see, go to Home, Format as Table, and oh, let's try Pivot Style Medium 11. We'll click on that. That's easy to read. And you see what happens when we click outside the table? Everything's final. You can print it. You can show it to somebody. If you're the magician, you don't, you don't uh, show your audience your tricks. So. When you show it to somebody, make sure you've got the pivot table saved in such a way that people don't see how easy it was for you to produce. That's a good reason to keep you around if you can do this again. The last thing we want to do is we want to check it against the key, A2, Sales by Product and Category. So before we go to key 2, let's go down to the grand total. If you got it right, your grand total is probably right. So let's click on it. And there it is. Let's click out. 618141 click back to our sheet 6 618141 we have we have done the right table it was that easy so uh, I hope you see that as we move through this we're adding minor uh, changes to these tables as we go along so once you've been through the whole set of videos it doesn't do you any good to do it in order because it makes the last table in each category seem easier than it really is. Once you've been through all the videos, you start doing them at random. Then you'll, then you'll know if you really understand how to do the pivot table. But here is your report that indicates total sales of each product in each category. And I, I think that's uh, a good example of how easy pivot tables can make the analysis of a large group of data.